today. Uh, we are joined by Robert Thomas. Rob, welcome to the podcast. Doesn't need much of an introduction. This is a first round draft pick, Stanley Cup winning champion uh, at the ripe age of 19 and, and now long term committed to, to St. Louis. Robert Thomas, again, welcome. We're, we're glad to have you on Ball Watching. Yeah, thanks for having me out. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Should be a lot of fun. So, Rob, we're going to start at the beginning here. So, born in Aurora, right? Ontario. For those that don't know Canada, like, where, where is that? Yeah, it's about 30 minutes north of, of Toronto, and if you're in traffic, about two hours. So, <laughs> oh, um, yeah, just a little bit north. And uh, yeah, I grew up there, and family still lives there. And okay. So, I spent a lot of my summers there. That's cool. So, do you still spend a lot of your summers there? Yeah. Yeah, every nice. summer I go back. Uh, back with the family and you know we got a little bit of a cottage now so cool. that's kind of where where i spend the whole summer cool cool i was actually just I, we, we scratched it but i wanted to ask you i heard after the blues won did they put a sign for you up in aurora yeah so is this like home with the, the home the home with the yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Was, yeah i know well it was really cool until uh goudreau's from aurora as well and no way so, oh, i didn't know that back to back after that so. what are the chances so they, they put in like took out my thunder yeah is he gonna they're gonna put a sign below you no it's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> now it's my name and his name uh, okay okay, okay. So, but your name's first but you were so. there first yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but he's got a times too so like, does aurora just turn out talent top. like that is, is that a big hockey hockey, hockey hotbed there yeah the you know aurora new market um you know, I grew up playing New York Simcoe Express, so it's kind of like a combination of those okay. two. And uh, there's some big names. Uh, Quentin Byfield, he's from yep. the market. Yep. Um, you know, top pick. So there's, awesome. some, there's some good young players coming out of there. I mean, no one, no one like you, though. No, I mean, no one like, I mean, our, like our own. We'll, we'll keep, we'll keep it <laughs> <laughs> We did, uh, we were doing a little research. We did see, did your dad or grandpa build a rink? Next to your guys' house, and that's where you tell us about. That, yeah, that's you, a nice story. You kind of grew up playing. That's how, yeah, that's how I learned how to play. Um, so in our backyard, you know, it got bigger every year. Um, it started out just small and just be kind of for the neighbors. Yeah. And then, uh, so I, you know, two neighbors uh, were a couple years older than me. Yeah. And so we built it for them when they were younger, and uh, just kind of took off. Uh, I mean, he just threw me out there and kind of said, you know, go play with the older kids Jesus and survive. <laughs> Um, so I started skating when I was like, probably just before three. three oh my gosh, and, Jesus Christ. I don't um, know if I could walk when I was three. Skates. Yeah, so pretty much that's how I started. And uh, every year it got, the rink got a little bit bigger. And then we did a huge <laughs> renovation to flatten the entire backyard. So oh my God, so we're doing the big bigger. leagues here. That's awesome. And yeah, I mean, that's how I grew up. And, uh, you know, it became a spot for me, all my friends. And, um, you know, we'd go out there after school and just play oh, until till you couldn't anymore. So. That's a blast. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a good way to grow up. That is cool. Yeah, absolutely. When did you like? Okay, so we get we're, we're growing up on doing a lot of skating, and playing hockey with all the neighborhood kids, and I know you were playing organized hockey too. But when did you finally commit to playing like hockey, like full time? Yeah, that probably probably wasn't until I was sixteen. Wow. <laughs> I I liked uh, that feels that feels rare. That that feels like that's that's later. But uh, maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Feels, I mean, the man literally won a Stanley Cup three years after yeah, I mean, committing to hockey. Yeah, I mean, well, I wouldn't say committing. I would say like. When it was my only sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What other sports were you playing? Uh, I play. I tried to play as many sports as I could. Um, you know, I grew up playing lacrosse, okay. soccer, baseball. Those were my three in the summer, and then uh, through high school, I played volleyball and rugby and and all that kind of. Oh, stuff. Jesus, yeah, so that's not a sport that you who didn't play. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just fun. I mean, I had a bunch of friends who would play yeah. play all these different yeah. sports, and um, and so I just kind of tried to hop in and and just enjoy it what so were you like the second best good at obviously you committed to hockey you know the only sport but what was second um besides golf now yeah golf, <laughs> golf definitely now but i'd say baseball baseball yeah okay i was uh used to be pretty good my, my dad said i always was better at baseball no I way <laughs> that's pretty crazy what'd you play shortstop shortstop yeah. all right so i'm getting the feeling it's the hand eye sports right i mean lacrosse baseball uh, I mean, obviously golf. hockey, golf. I mean, I know you, you said you said soccer, volleyball. Yeah. So I mean, you're kind of a man of all. Yeah, events. I mean, I was definitely the worst at soccer. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I was not good at soccer, but I tried my best. There you go. All we need some effort. All we need some effort. So we're, we parlay that. So we commit to hockey full time, like only hockey, mm-hmm. at sixteen. Obviously, we know what happens at nineteen. Fill us in on like the couple years in between there. What was that like? I know you're in the OHL for some time. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, 
you know, fifth, you get drafted at 15 and, and then uh, it's kind of like, you know, a big decision. Uh, yeah. You can go to college or play in, the, play in the OHL and uh, it's a hard decision. You know, my parents always grew up, you go to co- or you go to college, you get your degree and then you start working and that's the way they, they wanted it for me and yeah. just kind of, you know, I got drafted to London, which is, you know, the best organization um, in, in all of CHL yeah. and they developed so many great players and uh, it's kind of just got to a point where, you know, they were both pushing me, you know, go to college, uh, you know, there's a couple of colleges, you know, I was talking to and, uh, I kind of just looked at him and said, you know what, why not, you know, yeah, you might as well yeah. take a chance and take a run at this and, uh, it kind of turned out all right. No, look back. I mean, turned out I'd right. say it turned out okay so far. Yeah. Just, just okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and in that time, I know, did you know Matthew Chuck before? All of, the, all of that, or is it just when do you meet him on your OHL team? Yeah, that was uh, that yeah, my first year was was his first and last, but uh, no, I didn't know didn't know him at all beforehand, and um, you know he ended up his billet family was like a couple streets over from mine, so well that's why I, I know I was kind of you knew you knew where I was going with this one, yeah. and leading it into it. like how was that living with them? What was that back in twenty eighteen or so? Yeah. And living with the checks, how was that? I mean, it was awesome. Um, I mean, there's no better person to learn from in terms of, you know, obviously playing just his hockey sense, but also how he treats people. And uh, I don't think I've come across a person so, like, even though he's uh, obviously retired for a little while now, but I don't think I've come across a person that's so highly talked of from all the staff and oh, yeah. people. And um, so, I mean, just a good person to, not just for the hockey aspect, but just for how he treats people. And Yeah. I mean, it's St. Louis, you already know the fans and everything, but on an insider knowledge base of that, what do you think is the best advice he's given you or still gives you? I'm assuming he still texts you for games and everything. I saw, I read a couple of things and saw an, uh, an interview with you. They said kind of, you're like literally one of the sons now. Does he still text you before games? And like, what advice does he give you? Yeah. Um, you know, anytime, you know, you're struggling in a season, it happens every year. So there's always a time yeah. where you're not going to be playing the best. So he'll always, you know, watch the game and, send me a text with just a couple of notes yeah. on what he sees and uh, I mean I thought every any piece of advice you know I'm usually going to him for yeah, oh, absolutely uh, like you know trainers tips all that good stuff like I'm just like what do I do here <laughs> uh, so he's he's still he's still someone that's helped me so much and uh, his line to me the other day was I've done so much for you you, you don't there's not even a number you could do to repay <laughs> yeah. so he's, he's you're doing, in the hole for I know, life I know but uh, Those are good relationships. Not about absolutely. Like, he wants to. I mean, yeah. he, he wants to see the best for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's cool. That's cool. Awesome. Uh, so, okay, now we're we're going sequentially here. So we know we we know you've been drafted now. Mm-hmm. Were you going into that draft? That was twenty seventeen. Yeah, it would have been draft. Uh, jeez, I don't even know. So, back then, yeah. Whatever was draft nice. was. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it was a good draft class, but. Were you pretty happy with the position that you were drafted? Or was there anyone, like, I know some people take stock of, like, they were drafted ahead of me, they were drafted ahead of me. Were, were you looking to go earlier? Were you pretty happy with where you ended up in the draft? Did it surprise the you? The OHL draft? Yeah. The, so the, the, the NHL. The NHL, NHL draft? Draft. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest thing you kind of look for is, you know, the team. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, obviously, you want to go as high as you can. Yeah. You, know, you can make a little bit more money for out sure. there. And, um, but, yeah, I think... Uh, you know, I, I didn't know anything about St. Louis, like not one thing when I got drafted there. Yeah. And, um, but all I knew was the Kachucks yeah. and, uh, you know, Matthew had been li- lived with me the summer before uh, and all he talked about was how amazing it was. That's and, cool. And all yeah. that stuff. So that's, that's literally what I had to go off of. And, um, but yeah, no, I was so, I was just so happy. Uh, I knew St. Louis really wanted me and, yeah. um, you know, I think the coolest thing was I, I told my mom this after I got drafted. A lot of people have like you know the Velcro strap on. Yeah, they just yes. throw the name on. Yep. But you know, I looked at my jersey and it was like heat seal. No on. way. So was, yeah, I knew That's I knew really they really cool. liked me. Yeah. And so that was that was really cool. That's a really cool story. They like, they came looking for you. Like yeah. that was the goal, and we're gonna they sign you, sealed and deliver. Yes. Yeah. Like, they knew you wanted it long enough not, not to Velcro in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stitch it in there. This guy's here to yeah. stay. Yeah. yeah. No. So that was that was a pretty cool feeling. Uh, just to kind of see that and see how much they wanted me and yeah uh, that was pretty cool and you didn't have to wait long to I mean, make it your NHL debut either I mean yeah, I mean the first I mean that was your first season right 2019 yeah 2019 yeah, drafted run, obviously season. was your first yeah. season right yeah so I yeah got drafted went back to the OHL yep. and then uh, I was able to 
you know, do the World Juniors yeah. and yes, got, got traded to to Hamilton, which is an awesome place yep. too. Um, and you know, we went we went on a deep run, couldn't win it all, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty cool year to to go back and do Absolutely. all those things. Absolutely. And then fast forwarding to your first year, winning the Stanley Cup. What was your favorite part about that run? Obviously, the worst at first is an incredible story, but mm-hmm. like anything, anything that you kind of sticks out to you that was like your favorite part. Obviously, and then we'll we'll get to what you guys do with the cup after that. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's I mean, there's so many things I could talk about from that year. Um, I think it was the coolest thing for me was you kind of got to like from what I've been told is you got all sides of the NHL in one year. You got how much it sucks losing and being terrible. <laughs> yep. And then you got, you know, when you're the hottest team in the league and you end up winning it all. So I think it was cool just to learn throughout that and, uh, you know, get get a taste of all of it. Absolutely. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and then obviously winning was, was the greatest thing. And I'm sure we'll talk about that for days. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it was a, it was a year of first for everyone, right? I mean, like, this is your first, you know, full NHL season. I mean, you played, like, 70 games that year, right? Mm-hmm. So... It was your first, it was our first cup. Like there was a lot of firsts happening in 2019 and I feel like the stars just aligned. You know, after the, well after January really, everything just kind of flipped on its head and it was just no looking back from there. I wish you guys could have won it at home. St. Louis was absurd. I know I was at Patio's and they literally ran out of beer (laughs) and they had to, and then- He wore by his 30s. And I think both brought brought a a truck over and they literally were just selling 30s for $100 out of the back of the truck. (laughs) And then we just walked around St. Louis with a 30 beer. It was just- There were some obscene things happening. Oh yeah. I mean like outside uh, Enterprise after that too. I I wasn't, I was, I forgot where I watched it from, but I wasn't downtown, but I went downtown. I mean, like the Uber couldn't get anywhere near where you wanted to go. So like you got off, I think at like Market, and it was like a parade of just people. Like every square foot, there was like a person. I thought high fiving another person, <laughs> and like probably hammered. I thought people were gonna like break in the bush. It was people were rocking cars outside of there. It was insane, just yes. absolutely absurd. Yes. And and how did you experience? I mean, obviously the celebrations are one of the most fun parts. How how was like the parade like coming from a player's perspective? How was that for you? I mean, it was probably the the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and I like the way our our parade kind of went, where you know you had the cars going yep. through, but. Everyone was just jumping off them and jumping <laughs> yeah. over the barriers. And, uh, I like that you you know you could do anything and yeah. uh, it was it was pretty awesome. I mean just to, I mean just the amount of people and yeah. how everyone was just having a great time and I mean you couldn't go anywhere without no. the, the whole place blowing up. So. But I mean, but you had to be, you had to be sober. Yeah, right. You, yeah, you, you had to be nineteen year old. You had to be dead sober, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. different yeah. lens. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. And, yeah, yeah, a lot of water <laughs> boxes. Yes, juice <laughs> boxes. <laughs> You know, you gotta partake, but yeah, you have your fun. And the parade, the parade was like, what, a week or two after, but what was the first, like, 24 to 48 hours like with the cup and the boys? Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't, we, well, it was kind of nice, uh, you know, we got a nice flight home where you can just kind of, like, <laughs> drink juice boxes drink and juice boxes, <laughs> you know, hang out, but no, it was a ton of fun, and uh, so yeah, we pretty much right after we were in the room for an hour or two, and then jumped right on the plane back to St. Louis, oh and we got back here there's a huge uh you know a bunch of sponsors mm-hmm. and stuff we had a big party at mm-hmm. the rink and then um after that i tr- i tried to get a little bit of sleep but i was actually woken up by big walt he picked <laughs> me up and carried me out of my room at 7 a.m when i got home at 6 30 <laughs> and uh and brought me right back to you know ob's and I, I, was say, I knew that was the next day and, for sure uh, yeah i was there for a solid 24 hours <laughs> oh my god that's absurd so that we had we had a buddy that uh benny actually i guess benny got drunk and went back to clayton and my buddy was having a uh, happy hour out of barcelona wearing blues jerseys obviously the day after yeah and benny taps on the shoulder he goes hey go blues and he's like what the fuck he's like, you see this he's, he looks up he's like that's jordan bennington and <laughs> they like went back and, he, and then he was looking for a new breakfast but he's like oh you just get an hour we'll bring you there and then he like he was gonna get out and he's like you guys wanna come up and he like they played darts with Jordan that day and then Jordan's like alright I gotta Unreal. take a nap yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had to get out but. the crash must have been insane I mean yeah. you guys were just on one for days yeah no it was yeah probably a good week and a half oh. trying to trying to stay up and oh go oh my and, god um, yeah after that it wasn't too pretty and then uh, you, you get the summer, I guess you, most of your summer was burnt playing in the, in the playoffs but like after that you get a little bit of a break I guess how did how did your day go with the cup when you finally got got to get it? I that was that was probably the coolest thing I've done. Um, just because you know, obviously growing up north of Toronto, there's yeah. hockey's everywhere, and yeah. you know everyone loves the Leafs and blah blah blah. 
Um, but uh, just to see, you know, I had a huge kind of day where at the start I did my minor hockey team and then I did my high school and then, uh, you know, I did a city thing and then just went back to my house where all family, friends and friends yeah. and all that stuff. So uh, just like, you know, some of these, you know, some of the people that were there were just so happy to see the cup and to finally see it, like they're crying and tears. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the coolest thing to see, you know, friends and, you know, family, friends who, who could finally touch it. And That's so cool. Yeah. And you did that. Yeah. So yeah. it was, uh, it was really neat and, and uh, definitely a ton of fun. Oh my God. So now we're a couple seasons in, right? And we're heading into, is this your fifth year? No, oh, no, this is your, is yeah. it your fifth year? Yeah. Fifth year. Fifth year. Fifth year. My God. Crazy. Oh my God. It's so lying. I feel like it is. It, it's also making me sad that it's been five years. Not, not nothing to you. But you got a lot of time to yeah. <laughs> But uh, five years in, obviously, congrats on the extension. Like, so pumped to have you. I, I haven't met one person that's been like, ah, like that extension. I don't know. I was a little bit shaky. Everyone was like, we got to get them tied down. This is so. Awesome. This is obviously huge. Obviously huge for you. This is gonna be your home for the next, you know, nine long years. Term deal. Yeah. So, how excited are you about St. Louis and to be here long term? Yeah, so excited. I mean. Uh, as soon as that kind of became a possibility, yeah. I was like, I want to sign as long as I can. And um, it was, yeah, I mean, it came together pretty quick. And yeah. We both uh, both agreed on it, I mean, in a matter of two, three days. Oh, my God. Well, it's you not, never it's not hard for them. To, yeah. Is it just convincing yeah. you? Is yeah. It our, yeah. And but no, I was uh, cool. Yeah. I mean, ever since I got to St. Louis, I've loved it. And every every year, I just love it even more. And nice. I start to meet more people. And, you know, I can just feel it becoming a home for me. Yeah. So uh you know that part's really cool and i mean yeah ever since the ever since the cup i just feel like the the city's just exploded for hockey yes and every year it gets better and even though we haven't won again but we've been we've been pretty damn close so 100 yeah. it's been uh it's been really cool and i mean we got a great team again this year and we'll have a great team for the next hopefully nine years nine years no, nine, nine years lost, locked in with and you just mentioned the season this year Still a great year. Uh, so it's pretty cool to, you know, we can share that together. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. And then so, even with that new deal, what is some of the things that you like to do in St. Louis outside of hockey? Well, I love to golf. Obviously, yeah, yes, you did. Yeah. You know that. What is, yeah. Luke, uh, I know Jake's dad golf with you, and Luke wouldn't, he wouldn't tell me for sure what he thought it was, but what is your handicap? Uh, I heard you. I heard you kind of. I heard you brought it up, but I heard you're actually better than what you say you are, which is uh, obviously. Yeah, I'm playing out of five. Okay, never mind. I like it. How often are we playing? Like twice a week, three times a week on the off season, obviously. Um, off season, yeah, at least three times a week. Okay. And getting some reps, trying to do four or five. Wow. I was going to see if maybe you wanted to golf after this, but I, think <laughs> I, I don't think I want to. Five more. Yeah. yeah. Who was the best golfer? On uh, the team? Last year's Bozak. He he plays at like a one. Whoa. <laughs> But we we got a lot of good golfers, a lot of guys in that five to five to nine range. Probably That's worst insane. Golfer. Worst golfer, uh, I'd say the Russians. <laughs> they, 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 they don't even know. They don't they don't like to golf. <laughs> yeah. they, we get them out usually once a year. You do like a charity, charity event. Those guys are, yeah, yeah, those are those are the guys and, that just uh, drink drink and drive the carts. Yeah, exactly. They they <laughs> don't they don't play golf. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, so. Another thing that I love when I'm watching you guys' games is, you know, I always tune into Valley Sports and watch Darren Pang and John Kelly do yeah. like their, their thing, and obviously a lot of fun. I love all the lingo that Darren brings into it, and do you have any hockey lingo or Canadian lingo that, like, people don't know about that you guys toss around a lot in the locker room, or, like, is there any, like, little, like, fun word or slang that you guys use? Oh. Um, I would say if you're listening to Panger, he's got it all. He does. I mean, His vocabulary is absurd. He yeah. says words that I have, I have to like Google. Like, what does <laughs> this even mean? Yeah, I know. He's got. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's always in the room and oh, yeah. he's always on the plane with us. So he's he's hearing it all and he's definitely dishing it out. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's probably. I don't know what he's been saying, but yeah, I'm <laughs> it's, sure he doesn't repeat wrong. words. I, I yeah, everything's yeah. new for him. I feel like I, I am except for holy jumping. Holy jumping. Jump. Yeah, yeah, holy <laughs> jumping. Holy jumping. It's always yeah, yeah, probably yeah, every other repeat. sentence in a great way. Yeah. yeah. What's the uh, the team that you hate to play against the most over your career so far? Hate to play against. Yeah. Uh, or I guess love to play against people yeah. who don't like them. But yeah, I'd say Dallas. Dallas. Really? They're okay. uh, they're a tough team to play. They're hard and they play pretty defensive. Yeah. So. 
uh, it's hard to get goals on them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was in Dallas last this this weekend, and yeah. I was looking at that, and I was just mem- remembering some of the the Western Conference Finals games. Now yeah. it's just that was a series. That was one of my favorite series I think I've ever seen. Like, yeah, it was such a a hard battle for for both teams, yeah. and just to come down like it did, and you to play a role in that. That was awesome. I'm sure that memory is. Yeah, yeah, no, that was pretty cool, and that's. Uh, I mean, they're such a hard team to play against, but also like. Every game is so close and so energetic, and they're a big rival of ours. So it, at the same time, it's a, it's a fun team to play. Absolutely. Against. And then, is there anyone one on one you absolutely hate going against, or like you love playing against the guys so much that like then it just makes it more fun while you're on the ice? Uh, I mean, anytime you play against your friends, it's uh, yeah, awesome. that's, yeah, yeah. that's um, fun. So it's kind of cool. The the older you get, uh, the more friends you kind of get in the league. Yeah. You play yeah. with when you're younger and a junior and and all that stuff. So. Uh, I mean, anytime you play against those guys, Matthew it's, it's a blast. Yeah. yeah, those guys and childhood friends and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's uh, yeah, those are the games you circle on the calendar. That's for sure. <laughs> and I swear, I swear, we're a, we're a podcast, kind of, you know, focused on on soccer. How what's you, what's your purview or your kind of interest level in this MLS team coming to? start play in March of next year. Is, is that something that you're wanting to go to a couple games? Or are you, I know you've played soccer a little bit, mm-hmm. obviously some limited and wasn't your, wasn't your yeah. best sport, <laughs> but are, are you looking forward to, to having another team to go sport? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, St. Louis is such a big sports yeah. city and uh, not many people know that, uh, <laughs> yeah. except if you lived here. So uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I mean, I got, I saw a video of the stadium, one of my buddies, AJ was actually uh, just in there Friday, I think. Really? And sent me a video and it looks amazing. It's it looks incredible. It's un- so real. sweet. I think it's literally going to be the most like state-of-the-art stadium mm-hmm. and obviously Worldwide's helping put all that together and like oh, yeah. had some rumors of like even when you buy merch that you can just walk out and it'll be like official recognition, kind of like uh, Amazon when you go to the store type of thing. Oh, that's like, cool. Everything is going to be so Digital. set up and just, we already talked about it, that every seat is 120 feet at most from the pitch, which is just the most on top mm-hmm. and just exciting atmosphere. I think it's gonna be incredible. Yeah. They, have, they have a good, I mean, they have a good uh, example to try to replicate, right? I mean, Enterprise is rocking. Mm-hmm. I mean, for almost all of your guys' games. And the updates that they just made, Enterprise is looking sleek right Absolutely, now. absolutely. I mean, I, that atmosphere for me is so hard to beat because I mean, it's it's pretty intimate too in Enterprise. Yeah. I'm sure you guys feel it down mm-hmm. on the ice, but it's so much fun. It's not like overly big to the point where you kind of get some of the sound gets drowned yeah. out. and. I really hope that they can replicate that. I mean, it's it's similar in, I think it's what, 22,000 seats in this city? 22, stadium? 25. Yeah, obviously open air, so yeah. a, little, a little bit different, but I look, I think they're trying to like contain the sound with like the canopy they built as well, mm-hmm. so it'll be pretty fun. I mean, I, I would love to see how those two end up kind of stacking against, because I love the Blues game. I mean, they're yeah. just so much fun, Like, and they're also like constantly engaging, and soccer's little bit different but there's no like there's not many breaks like there are like in football and other sports so i think they're kind of similar it's a real it'll be a little overlap we were talking about this we're hoping for the the quad fecta with cardinals blues city and battle hawks if we could possibly (laughs) all have one in the same day i think the city might burn down yeah with those fans yeah it'll be so cool i mean soccer games get rowdy they do uh, they do i'll I'll definitely be looking forward to this year that's for sure you can sit in the ball watching seats anytime yeah right 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 absolutely absolutely do you, uh, and I know you guys do a little bit of, of soccer-ish, like kind of in warm-ups. Just tell us about that. Like, do you, is there a name for like what you guys are playing? And like, what is that? Yeah, it's a couple different names. Uh, I've always referred to it as Super Bowl. Okay. Um, so it's a two-touch game. Uh, you got to keep it in the air, obviously, and as soon as it bounces, it's out. Okay. Um, so you pretty much, you're in a circle and you kind of go after your yeah. teammates and try and get them out. And uh, that's why we call it Super Bowl, because you're you know, sewer and your friend. Yeah, absolutely. Who, who would you, and we talked about this <laughs> all the who is the best sewer wall player on the Blues and who is the worst of the boys? Uh, so last year, we, you know, the Don't say Bozak, you can't get, you can't He's do. one of the best. Oh, of course. Uh, wow. And, uh, you know, anytime, you know, the Russians, Europeans, those guys play a lot, so they're, they're always really good. So it's the opposite of golf. Yeah, those guys. Okay. Yeah. Has that been a thing for a while? Is, is sewer ball like been around for a while? I feel like I didn't recognize when I was a kid, like growing up watching Blues games. But now I see it like before the pregame. They always they always show an angle in the tunnels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've ever since junior hockey. Really? Just play it before. The What's game. like? What do you? Why? Why yeah. do you think that is? I think it's just like I mean, you get there two two and a half hours before the game. Yeah. And it's a nice way to kill forty five minutes, and it's also like a good warm up. Like you usually get a pretty good sweat yeah. going and. Uh, loosens you up, so 
I think it's just a combination of both. Of those <laughs> how how intense can it get? I know you said you were trying to like sue your friends, get them out. <laughs> yeah. Like, are, you, are, are guys getting pissed? Oh yeah, the so, yeah, there's always there's always a big argument and uh, <laughs> rules guy. And, yeah, <laughs> from the from game one to the end, it's way more intense at the end because yeah. guys get rivalries going. Oh yeah, and, no way. Yeah, so sort of keeping tabs. Like oh, there's there's rec- yeah. really like, there's the same guys are going after the same guys all. Time. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the, like like you got me out last game. Now I'm gonna go for yeah. you. And, like, and just just starts like in their amazing. chest yeah. after 82 games it's like they're they're the balls flying at you do you do you guys keep do you guys keep like a like a whiteboard or anything or is it all just your head just rivalry yeah you're going no, at you, it? you know your guys you're going after yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. system yeah who was who was the best Super Bowl player you've ever played with uh um, OHL NHL all of that I, I'd have to say Steiner is really good really uh, yeah okay good. They're just so smooth with the ball. Yeah. Like it just like feels like it's glued to their foot. Does that, like, you think, like the better you are at sewer ball, does that translate at all to like your skating ability? Like, you know, because if, if you can coordinate well with your feet, does that translate at all? Or are you just, it's just, it's just fun way to get warmed up. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. If okay. Okay. Really, I got, we'll have to do some analysis. Yeah. <laughs> some, some research. Yeah. 